hi all so today in this video we are going to see about one of the very important function that is cast function cast is used to convert uh, the data type of a value from one to another okay so let's say uh, i have opened here an unnamed rule here currently okay so let's try to write cast and see like what is the definition and how to use it so let me write it cast here so i have written the cast function here and now you can see here the definition says it converts a value from its existing type to the specified type from one type to another type and he, it has two argument that is type number and value okay and how to give the type number so it can be given with the help of type of okay or type bang as well and the value is what the value that we want to cast to another data type okay for example let's say before using cast let's see like we have some data let me take local variable to store that data locally okay local bang uh, let's say we have num and the value of the num is let's say something right here 566.789 something like this is there now what is our requirement is we don't want uh, currently it is in decimal we don't want it to be in decimal we want it to like the value as an integer so what we will do for that purpose okay so first of all what we want is uh, for integer you can write like what like one so one does say like it is it is not having any decimal so it is just like one here okay and where is the word value so local bank num is the value where is the place where our value is stored now let's test it so now you can see here it hasn't rounded up the data it hasn't done anything inside data it has just removed the part from where the dot begins everything point 897 is completely removed and we have got a number integer value okay that's what we wanted okay so that was a very simple example basic example to check like how to cast from one type to another type now in real time what happens is uh, from somewhere we get a set of data okay the huge case is like from somewhere we have got a set of data and we have to update our CDT with the help of that data okay so how to do that how to update our CDT with the help of that data okay so that we will see here for example for that purpose currently we are talking about CDT and all so I have created a basic CDT look okay name of the city student data so ID name class mark and gender simple okay very simple I have uh, created a CDT in the database as well I have made some random entries okay just like this ID name class mark gender all things are there now suppose uh, in our real time from the expression rule or somewhere else we have got certain data for example uh, local bank in I am storing it currently in this way as well uh, suppose name we have got is like Alex okay and local bank uh, mark uh, okay so marks we have got is like 88 good student is and local bank what else we have uh, class local bank class now here study in class uh, let's say nine nine class and ah, that's it we have okay so currently we have this kind of data that we have got or okay after executing expression rules and all we have got this data we are supposing it now what I want to do is I want to cast my data uh, into this CDT type so that I can use inside the process model or anywhere else to update the data so for us okay so let's try to use the cast now now after writing the cast one thing occurs in our mind is like how to use the cast then okay so for the CDT one uh, type bank we can use to uh, for like which value like what is the type to which we want to uh, change our data type or cast our value so for that we can use type bank and after that write the name of the CDT that you need okay so for example ys underscore customer student data demo data I have written it right so this is what I have written it after uh, after that I will give a comma here first part of cast is done 
now what is about the second part how to do it value where is our value the our value is stored in different local variables currently let's cast first local variable once local bank name then now let's try to see or uh, does it give any error or not ah right i guess you might have seen this error a lot of times like cast invalid could not cast from this to this right we have got a kind of classic error cast invalid error right let's see like why we got this cast invalid error why it is not able to cast it it is saying that could not cast from ys student data to number integer so local bank is uh, uh, not a number integer obviously it is a text so if you see here if you open the this oh uh, it is still storing that number variable only <laughs> okay uh, really not sure why it let's so what we will do here is uh, let me just comment it out first uh, okay local bank name i will do it so that it will call the name ah, now name is there right now let me just delete it so and now let me just uncomment it first and now let's try it huh. so still it is saying number integer okay fine leave it but anyway error is there like cast is invalid fine hmm. so cast invalid like, why does it say so for understanding this we have to understand one important thing like type bank is there what what does it give right what kind of value it returns okay so what i will do here is let me just copy it here and all of this uh, i will uh, cut it the, uh, okay uh, now here what i will do here is here i will paste once type bank ys underscore student demo data okay now let's see i have just written this expression and let's click on enter test rule okay so let me just test the rule once so currently you see here what does it return it return the type of cdt that we have see here the type is written ys underscore student demo data and here id name class mark gender everything is here okay if we want to update or, or give any value to this cdt how to give it for example i want to give the name as alex the same name that we have right ala let's see here does it take or not right see here lx name it is taking here but there it gave us the cast invalid error right so what we will do here is we need something like this structure so that it will insert the data there as well so let's understand like what is the structure of it so first of all if you see here this is a cdt fine it is the saying the type and this is the column name okay so if you see here there can be multiple data uh, for the ID name, but all these ID name, class, mark, gender will remain constant forever. Okay, see here. Here we have four entries, and for each name is uh, name is the uh, different, but the, these column names are uh, there always same for them. All the entries that will come under this column names only. So they act as a key. Okay, so this ID name, class, mark, and gender they act as key, and these are their values. So it is a key value pair, key and value pair. And whenever the term key value pair comes into your mind, I guess one thing might pop up into your mind that is nothing but a dictionary, right? A dictionary is the way through which, like, we can give some data to it. Okay, so let's try to uh, uh, give the data like dictionary there as well and we'll see like whether it works or not. Let me just paste the previous expression here and now. So now you can see here I have given a value of marks like local bank marks I have given and it has given the data and it has even now taking the data as 88 there now if i want to give it let's say like name as well let's give it uh what the name we have local bank name and let's see currently name is empty here and now you will see here lx will come up now we want something as local bank class as well and what data we have local bank class okay uh local bank class i've written two times sorry sorry huh classes here now it's fine so now you can see here uh, only one thing was left that is gender let's leave it null that's not fine that's fine for now and we have got this data now suppose uh, now uh, okay so now we have got this data 
at all so now we have successfully casted the data from the existing type to the cdt type right all this data like in the live as well in the in the projects as well like we might get some data from here and there from different expression rule and we have to update the values in our CAT we can up uh, we can go for this method or so now you can see here what data is there now what we will do here is we will try to write uh, we will try to create a new entry in our database table okay so some new entry like whether it can do a new entry in our database table or not so that we will see so first of all what i will do here is i will just say create an expression rule here only so okay so cast data to cdt okay here folders and all are already selected that's why ha huh. so now let me just paste the data here okay let's test it once before saving it fine it's all looking good for now and now what we will do here is let's create a process model as well okay so cast data something like this i've given a name of the process model now let's save it and let's see the values of it as well okay so now what we will do here is of uh, we have to uh, what you can say that we have to store this data in our database table so for storing the data what do we have we have a right to data store entity so this is what we require uh, to write the data so let's configure this as well in the data store entity i haven't made any constant to refer it so let me just refer it directly from here as well okay so student demo data that's what we have let me click this one okay so write data okay so currently you can see here multiply I've unchecked it huh. so currently you can see here currently no values nothing is there there are no pv so let's create a process variable okay and student data i have written it here and here i will just write it ys underscore student demo data fine yeah and let's configure this as well write data and now we can get up drop down student data let's select it okay fine so we have now the data right to the data store entity that's fine now we have to call the expression rule to where we are getting the data okay so how to call like wh which objects we to use for that so obviously like a script task will be used to get that data okay so let's name this script task as get data something like this let's configure the output and what do we need to do here either you can just copy and paste the whole thing in the okay here okay or either you can just call this expression rule that's fine we will just call this expression rule no changes needs to be done ah forgot the rule bang no problem i have done it the rule bang as well and now let's save and close it and where do we i have to uh, save the data so either let's save the data here as well that's fine we have already a serity of this type so now i am here i am getting the data what data i will actually get I will get this data the entire data that I gave because it is currently hard coded okay and it will store in the database table okay so now what I will do is let's publish this and now let's debug it so now currently you can see here only four entries were there Alex John and all this we will see a fifth entry as well here okay so let's try to refresh it you can see here it has been refreshed that's uh, fine and now let's refresh here as well so now you can see here one new entry has been made that is a five fifth number that is lx988 gender we haven't given so it is null for now okay so gender we haven't specified so that was null now uh, we can also update uh, some new random data as well okay uh, for example let me just name it some random number like a b c d i have given it here okay and let's give it 75 9 is fine huh. let's add the gender this time we will add the local bank gender as well and gender we will give it male okay so let's save the changes 
okay and now let's again debug it it will automatically get the latest data only so let's debug it once again and now we will be able to see our sixth entry see a b c d e 975 okay ah gender we have got as null right i guess something we have missed in the expression rule ah here if you see see even if we have called the data here but we haven't mapped in our dictionary so it was not able to uh, like see here only three values it is returning currently marks and all so what we will do here is we will mark the gender as well z n what okay so gender it is fine so now gender is there i have specified a gender as well now uh let's try to ha huh, but one thing is that uh i don't want to make a new entry i want to insert a gender for whatever the name i have written a b c d e 975 right so one of the advantage here is that if i specify the id what will happen then okay right if i specify id as what is the id that we want to update sixth is the number that we want to update id is 6 okay so in id equal to 6 it has to uh, what you can say here is update the data let's see like whether it will update the data in id is equal to 6 or not or whether we get a new entry so let's refresh the data once again and now you can see here in the sixth entry only the gender is coming right so if we have a data type of this one we have cast it to a cdt we what we can do here is we can update the existing data as well if we have got the id we can update it with the help of this okay or uh, currently we have the got the data like this if we have to update like we can directly use type bang as well but that's for some other day okay so i guess it's uh, clear so that's what Ah, so that's all for now. Thank you.